Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Bonzik. Um, I would just like to check in because it seems like there are a few people who were maybe a little bit confused by my instructions for the prologue and act one, scene one yesterday. Um, a lot of people, it seemed like they didn't really read the prologue or they only read the first couple of lines of the prologue. So just to be clear, the prologue actually tells us really what's going to happen in the play. Um, not only does it tell us that the two families, the Capulets and the Montagues, are feuding, but it also tells us that Romeo and Juliet, who are, they describe as star-crossed lovers, um, actually end up falling in love, but then killing themselves because they cannot be together. And so uh, that is something that's sort of important from the prologue that a lot of people seem to have missed. Um, another thing that I wanted to make sure people were aware of is because we are at home, a lot of the answers that we normally would go over sort of a little bit more in depth during class aren't going to be able to um, sort of be gone over quite as you know in depth and so when you're answering your questions make sure you're answering every part of the question and make sure you're going really in depth and also make sure that you're answering in complete sentences right so that will be part of your um, grade going forward um, yeah, so when I got to my next question, um, I asked you about Tybalt and I asked you about Benvolio. So Tybalt's first line, um, in his lines, he only spoke five times, right? But his lines made it pretty clear that he is sort of angry and ready to fight. Like no matter what, he is ready to fight. He doesn't want to listen to what anybody else says. He just wants to fight. Benvolio, when he comes in, um, he tries to stop the fighting. Some people were confused by his line where he said, put up your swords. What he meant was put away your swords. Um, this is an, a place where looking at the modern translation might help you a lot because the modern translation will make those things clear. Um, whereas if you just look at the Shakespearean English, you know, we don't say that if we said, put up your swords, it, you know, it would sound like we're getting ready to fight. But when B Benvolio says that he actually wants them to stop fighting. Um, and finally the prince, um, some people were able to get this. Some people just sort of picked some words out of his speech. Um, the prince gives the both families a warning that if any Capulet or any Montague are caught fighting, then they will be put to death. And so that is the new law in Verona that the prince has instituted. So by the end of scene one, we have Benvolio characterized as a peacemaker, and he is a Montague and a friend of Romeo's. We have Tybalt characterized as angry and ready to fight, and he is related to Juliet, who is a Capulet. And we have the prince having sort of issued the law that if any Capulet and Montague are caught fighting in the streets again, then they will be put to death. I hope that going forward, you have an easier time with some of the other scenes and I will be checking back in. Have a good quarantine. <laughs>